Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is my first official vlog on here. It's going to be a weekly vlog just because I'm at work this week and I mean it's like already 6pm and you know I've done nothing today apart from go to work. So I thought I would do a weekly vlog because that way I've got a little bit of leeway to make it a little bit more interesting for you show you a little bit of my life and as you will know from the intro video if you've not seen that I will leave it in the i button just here I want to share with you some exciting things I'm really 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 hoping to do vlogmas this year and that is one of the main reasons I've made this channel I didn't want to clutter up my entirely Sarah channel with lots and lots of vlogs through December and I always get put off vlogging normally because I've not really got anywhere specific to upload it so I was thinking when I make myself a vlog channel it will a make me vlog more and b it will make me share more of my life and make me do more exciting things that I want to share with you guys and have somewhere to put the content because I want to keep my entirely Sarah channel beauty and fashion related every now and again you'll get a bit of lifestyle post on there don't worry and not really much is going to change over on that channel if I go to a blogger specific event that might also go on my vlog channel uh, on my main channel however a lot of my life and a lot of the vlogs will now move over here so if you're excited about that and you want to stick around and you want to see more do click that subscribe button as you can see it's not a very high follower count right now because it's a brand new channel for October it's currently the first of October today I have the dishwasher on my um, microwave has got jacket potatoes in my phone is buzzing my husband's on his way home I promised to have tea on the table when he got home because He's streaming tonight, he plays a lot of games, he does online streaming, he's into all of that stuff and it's October so he's playing scary games for the run up to Halloween. So my job today is have tea on the table when he gets home, the dishwasher's on to clean the pots, I need to write the description of the vlog channel intro that you will have seen, <laughs> that was the first, first video to go up on this channel, so that is what I'm about to do but I just thought I would take two minutes on my sofa just talk to you guys and yeah so this week I have got a normal working week apart from Thursday on a Thursday after work I am going to an event in Derby it's not blogger specific but I will be going shopping so what I'm hoping is we'll have something fun to share on here me and my friend Ellie are going so hopefully she can encourage me to vlog and we'll have lots and lots of content I also have a box of hair dye sat in my kitchen that I bought yesterday and so I want to dye my hair at some point this week. I'm not going to show you what colour it is because that will be a surprise later in the vlog. However, I might do a main channel video reviewing the hair dye and talking about it, telling you if it's easy to apply or whatever. So you might see a main channel video before you see the vlog but, you know, the hair might change. Comment in the... leave a comment now and let me know what colour you think I should dye my hair because... I've gone round, round and round the block and then my husband actually picked the box of hair dye. I picked two up and I was like, I don't know what to do. Do I do this or do I do this? And he was like, that one. I was like, okay then. And then I got home and I was like, oh my God, have I made the right choice? Um, but yeah, we're just going to roll with it. It's only hair, isn't it? So I think it'll look nice. I just don't think it, it was what I was expecting. Bearing in mind, he told me to dye it green at first. So, you know, that's kind of what we're working with. But my microwave has just beeped, my husband's not home, and I need to go sort this out. So I should catch you later on. So it's Tuesday, and if I tell you that I needed to leave for work this morning, leave my house at 8 o'clock, and I woke up at 10 to 8, specifically 9 minutes to 8, you can probably imagine the panic that ensued and the rush that I was in. So I didn't actually get a chance to vlog this morning, and then I came out of work, just sort of picked my mum up and we pop into town to my mark you can kind of see that it's literally the biggest bag in the world and it's got four things in it I'm not going to show you what I bought from Primark today but I did specifically go to Primark for one thing and guess what they didn't have it so I'm about to do a bit of an internet scouring and I also want to go to a bigger Primark because I would like to do a little bit more shopping and get some new bits for my wardrobe. I'm hoping to do a little bit of a series on my main channel where I like clear out my wardrobe, update all my basics and just show you what I've been buying and update it all for the new season. 
but that is kind of a work in progress so far and a couple of those bits might feature in some of that somewhere. But yes, I'm about to go make a cup of tea. It's Tuesday, we're going to have a cup of tea. I've just rung my husband, he's on his way home. I'm going to make a cup of tea, we're going to have a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits, just a bit of a snack to tide us over. Then we're going to head to his sister's, we're going to see her for a little bit, then we're going to come home and then it's Bake Off, First Dates Hotel and The Circle. So that's our evening plan. I might catch up with you when we have tea maybe? We're having pie and mash for tea because it's pastry week on Bake Off, which means we've got to have a pastry themed snack. So that makes it really easy because pie for tea is really easy. Um, but yeah, that is what I've been up to so far today. It's been a terrible fail of a weekly vlog so far, but hopefully you are enjoying it. And yes, I'm going to sort my things out in my Primark bag, go and boil the kettle, and I need to write a blog for... A blah, 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 blah. I need to sort my blog out for tomorrow, because judging by my busy evening, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to take vlog pictures. So I need to do a little rejig on my schedule, because I had got everything planned out in sort of day-to-day -day order but judging by that I don't think that's going to happen so you know we'll just roll with what we've got I've got a few written and planned so it's not the worst thing in the world but I just don't think I'm gonna have time to perfect my flat lay photos that I've got before tomorrow <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna go boil the kettle I'm going to have a drink some biscuits and I will catch up with you when I've got something more interesting to share with you. Hey everyone, so it's Wednesday and believe it or not I was running late again this morning because apparently that's my special talent. Um, my hair's looking a bit of a mess, I'm going to wash it soon and pop in the bath and stuff. Um, but on October 3rd is Mean Girls Day if you did not know and on Wednesdays we wear pink so I'm wearing my pink shirt today just to kind of like in keeping of the theme but Apparently not everybody knows that it's um, Mean Girls Day and nobody really kind of got the reference so I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I've just loaded up my PC so there are my studio lights by the way if you didn't already know. They're my two filming lights. I kind of push them to the side because that's my filming background. Then I push my lights to the side because where I'm sat now I have to tuck all my chair under and I can't use my PC while I'm filming which I don't anyway but you know what I mean. So they're kind of just over there, but um, yeah, I've just got home, it's Wednesday, I have a video I need to film today for tomorrow because I'm going out tomorrow evening, so I need to film that and edit that tonight. I want to have a bath, or at least a shower, I mean obviously I'm going to like have a shower, but I'd like a bath if I get a chance, but I need to cook tea because with it being Wednesday, if you remember on Monday, my husband is streaming, um, so he's streaming tonight. So some of it I can get done while he's um, streaming and everything like that. So I'm going to quickly do a little bit of blogging. Sorting out for tomorrow and the rest of the week. Because I need to make sure I've got Thursdays and Fridays done. Because Thursday night I won't be able to do anything. Because um, I'll be out obviously. And then plan some content for my videos. I also need to... Make sure I've got a couple of pictures on my Instagram this week because I'm trying to post a lot more but the trouble with posting a lot more means you need to have a lot more photos as well. So I'm kind of lacking in that department. I need to find some photos, edit some photos. Sorry, my screens are like really reflecting onto my glasses. <laughs> um, so I need to sort that out and make sure I've got plenty of pictures to go on there. Because I always draft them and see what they're going to look like before I post them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. 25 to 5 now. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. I'm going to double check how long tea is going to take because I want tea on the table again for when my husband gets home. We don't always do that. I mean, like on days when he's not streaming or anything, we don't, I don't have the tea on the table for him. It's just not something that we do. But, um, as I say, when he's streaming, I want to be able to have the tea on the table so that he can come straight up after stream, after his, after tea. He can basically come straight up to his office, set all his stream up, pick what game he's playing, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so got that to do. As I say, I need to film at least one video, maybe two, depending on how I um, how I feel and how much time I have. And also, I'm gonna get my box of hair dye tonight, and I'm going to have a proper look at what I need to do because some hair dye needs to go on hair that is fresh washed and wet, and some hair dye goes on hair that's like a couple of days after it's been washed and. Um, or like it's washed and dry but with no product on so I usually like 
say for instance if it needs to be washed and dry I will wash my hair tonight not put any product through it when I've um, when I've washed it not any oil or anything like that on it and then tomorrow it'll be fine and then Friday I'll probably dye my hair it won't be greasy or anything it'll just be sort of getting ready for being washed again but it'll have just sometimes that little bit of like natural oil on it just protects your hair a little bit I don't know I'm not a hairdresser don't quote me on that don't tell me don't you know if you've got any tips or tricks in the comments for dyeing hair then I, I probably ought to know I've been dyeing my hair for over 10 years but you know I'm gonna have a look at that because obviously I need an extra pair of hands to dye my hair which usually falls to my mum but I do want to kind of do a little if you want me to film it I will film it again I've filmed it in the past when I've dyed my hair um but yeah so that is kind of my evening and then there's we missed Great British Bake Off last night because we actually went to my sister-in-law's and did some bits over there. We helped the kids with their homework and bits like that when we got there. Ended up what should have been a five minute trip to drop some little bits off ended up being like at three hours and it's really nice to see them though. I love seeing my nieces and nephews and obviously like spending time with them and stuff. So when we got home we watched The Circle because we didn't have time to watch everything. Um, we've left Bake Off. I did see who got Star Baker, but I've not seen who's gone. I will have seen who's gone by the time I've watched this. Any uh, by the time you see this, so don't worry if you leave spoilers. But um, yeah, so we'll probably catch up on Bake Off somewhere along the line. But you know, um, we'll probably I'll probably get loads of work done. We'll my husband will stream. Then we'll regroup. Probably have a cup of tea. Watch the Circle, and yeah. Right now I'm kind of, I'm backing Dan and I'm backing Kate in the circle. I think, although Sean and Freddie have been there since the start as well, I almost, I like Dan, I really think he's genuine, I think he's been really good all along, he was really kind to Janelle when he didn't tell her, tell anybody her secret, he's been quite genuine, there's been a little bit of times where he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play to this, they like me, I'm going to play to this a little bit, but overall he's been genuine. And I think Kate, or Alex if you watch it, is um really showing i think it'd be really really good for like public ed like for the public and to educate young people on the fact that anybody online can be anybody else and i just think it'd be really good to kind of really put that message across and be like look this person's won a popularity contest based on a complete lie and then not even who they say they are it's easy to put somebody else's picture up and i know he's been he's been personality genuine but just to show that catfishing is a real thing and it is something that does affect people and we just we can't be like too too cautious you know what I mean we can be over cautious if we really really try but I just think just be wary of who you're talking to and what's going on but yeah I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and I have literally literally just walked through the door so first thing I did is take my shoes off pick my camera up I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a start because otherwise I will run out of time and I need to cook tea too. So I shall catch up with you in a little bit, hopefully. So I don't know if you'll actually be able to tell, but I've just woken up from a nap. I cooked tea for me and my husband. We sat down and watched um, part of the Bake Off, watched half of it before we went to sort of stream out and go, you know, obviously and play games and stuff. And I laid down on the sofa and thought, oh, I'll move in a second, you know, like you do. And then I woke up an hour and a half later because apparently that's how tired I am. So I've got to film. I'm just about to film my Sunday Riley glossy box. It's still actually, well, she's thrown it. It's still actually sell out on the day it was released, but I wanted to um, still share it with everybody just because I think it's got some really good products in it. And I just wanted to share with you what I'm obviously going to be testing out and things and to give you an idea of what the glossy box is boxes I like when they do a limited edition so I'm going to film that and then edit that and then I need to make sure I've got Thursday and Friday's blog post scheduled and oh and then I'm going to go for a shower because apparently I don't have time for a bath anymore because one of us took too long having a nap <laughs> so I'm going to go and film and edit and all that kind of stuff and then I think once that's done and I've had a quick shower and my husband's finished his stream we'll probably go and watch the circle so I'm going to go and edit and film my video about my Sunday Riley box, my skincare box. So if you do want to see that, head over to my main channel and that will be up there by the time you see the video. So yeah, that is currently my Wednesday evening. Good morning, it's Thursday. So I'm currently in my husband's car. We're on our way to work. He's going to drop me off this morning because I'm going out this afternoon, as you will know from yesterday. Um, yeah, just a standard morning really, but I thought I would just give you a little update and I will check in with you when I finish work 
and I'm meeting my friend Ellie. So despite what I said, I'm back home now. It is, let's have a look at the time. It's half past nine and I didn't actually vlog at the event. So we got there, I got, um, we got to the event in Derby, finished work, kind of travelled there, that kind of thing, um, with my friend Ellie. We signed in and registered and we got one of these bands. This just gave you, it's really easy way to just give you the discount basically. You just sort of flash this at them at the till in the shops that you purchase from and you get the discount. I didn't really buy anything. There wasn't really anything that I saw that I wanted. I've had a really good like window shop and it's really opened up my eyes to what's out there. I need to go, I think I just need to go one day and just kind of um, try everything on that I like and just kind of really whittle it down. I did see some stuff that I was kind of interested in but I don't know. I think sometimes my problem is that I rush in and buy things without really thinking about it or I tend to buy the same things over and over again. I buy a lot of t-shirts and I kind of need like jeans, I'd like a couple of new coats, one of them I saw that I kind of liked but they didn't have my size. Um, so that kind of thing, I'm not super worried, you know, a lot of the things, not every shop had the discount either so some of the things I saw um, won't have the discount on and didn't have the discount on. Um, so we got a little like leaflet that told us all about the um, all about the offers. So if you do have an Intu Santa near you, I would recommend going on their website every so often and just having a look like upcoming events and stuff like that because this was an event that pretty much most people could sign up to I'm pretty sure. We signed up to it because obviously we're bloggers and that's one of the things that we kind of like to do. Um, along with my shopping, I did get a Christmas gift guide from Boots. I absolutely love looking through this and basically just circling everything I want and then just leave it in my husband's room on his desk and pop to my mum's and accidentally leave it on her sofa arm so that she sits down and sees it. Um, you know, just like little sort of hints to everybody that that's what I want. And sometimes when I'm looking on the website, I'll go like, makeup gifts and then you troll through about 20 pages by the time you've got to page four you're like am i really going through all these pages and i get a little bit bored sometimes so i think having it as a magazine form i can go page by page and really just look at it and it's one of those things that i can read and i don't actually have to be on my computer i spend a lot of time looking at computer screens looking at my phone screen and just kind of you know what i mean it's just a little bit ugh. and sometimes i just feel like you're not reading a book as such, but to just have something to read that's not electronic. When I want sort of five minutes downtime away from my computer, but you know. At Boots, they were doing a event where if you signed up to their Advantage card, or if you downloaded their Boots Advantage card app. Now, I do already have the app, and I showed in my app. I have an embarrassing amount of points on my Boots card, which shows I spend way too much money at Boots, to be honest. Everybody I know, right, comment in the comments if you save your boots points or your super drug points or whatever or if you get sort of like five or ten pounds or whatever and then spend them because I have 86 pound on my boots card. It's almost like an extension of my bank account. Now that tells you how much money I spend at boots and how many of my points offers I usually use. But yeah, I have 86 pound on my boots card and I get a little bit protective over them now, like kind of don't want to spend them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saving them for. Originally I was saving them for the advent calendars. Not really sure that I want any of the ones that are out in boots this year. So I might treat myself to some Christmas gifts in place of the advent calendars that I was going to buy. Might buy myself a new perfume, don't know yet. But let me know either what you spend them on, what I should spend them on, if there's anything you recommend that you've seen, or how many boots card points do you have? I don't know. But they were doing little stockings if you um, signed up to there and downloaded their app. So, in the stocking, I got, let me shake all these out. So it's a little L'Oreal stocking and it's got little Eiffel Towers on. How cute is that going to be for like a little Instagram prop? <laughs> so cute. That's kind of all I wanted it for, Instagram. But yeah, my husband's going to come down and be like, why have you got a Christmas stocking? But yes, so inside we have the Davidoff Cool Water Women Wave. They're all perfume samples, by the way. Diesel Only the Brave Street. Oh, that one's a men's one. 
that can go to my dad. My dad will like that. He likes the diesel foot perfumes. The Pekka Rabanne Pure Excess. Now, the guy that was doing these said that this is a... I'm sure he said popcorn. Yes! Um, Ylang Ylang. Oh, my God. That is... That, I, I tried to read it and it wasn't in English. It was like, Ylang Ylang, Chanel sur Vinyl Brûlante. That's my best French accent, if that is even French. Luxuriant Ylang Ylang and hot vanilla with a popcorn burst. A provocative floral. Popcorn. Like, seriously? I can't wait to smell that. Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum. If I can show you that. And lastly, the new Dior Joy. I've seen so much on Instagram about this. I think a lot of the bloggers went to kind of like the launch of it. And I think he said Dior haven't released a women's perfume in like 20 years or some some crazy amount of time that they've not um, released a perfume for. So although I didn't actually buy anything and I didn't vlog while I was there like I promised, the reason I didn't was because we were sat in the food court when we first got there. So yeah, we signed in, registered, went up to the food court, had some tea. And I don't particularly like mascots. I've not really spoken about this on my channel anywhere, but I don't particularly like mascots. And let's just say there was a mascot mouse in the centre walking around. And at one point I thought my heart was actually going to beat out of my chest. I was like, I felt like jelly. I, I just don't like them. But yeah, so that has been my day today. And this is six minutes worth of clips. So this vlog's going to be long and it's going to be me sat on my sofa all of it. So, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to watch The Circle and I'm going to put my pyjamas on and go to bed because it's Thursday and I am so tired. I can't even put into words how tired I am. I almost fell asleep on the bus on the way to the event and, yeah, it's just horrendous. I'm crawling my way to the weekend. Hey everyone, it's Friday and I'm looking the least uh, presentable right now. But I've not updated you at all today. It's 9.22 in the evening. So I thought I would. I have had one of those weeks, honestly. Like, you think, I could do this weekly vlog thing. Like, I've seen so many people do it. It looks, looks a doddle. And then you've basically seen what is a genuine week in my life. This is probably the first moment I've had all day to even think about vlogging. So, today I've been to work. It's Friday. I'm exhausted. I think mentally, physically and emotionally drained from this week but I'm currently taking blog pictures so I will show you that in a second and I had two quite exciting deliveries today so I'm going to show you those in a minute too. Um, this is my door with my coats hanging on it. I've kind of fashioned this recently and we're going to lean on it because it looks comfortable. But yes, I apologise now because this week has been a little bit boring. Um, if you're still with me then thank you. But yeah, it's kind of been one of those almost like a test a week. I obviously have never weekly vlogged before. I still have a little bit of public vlogging and anxiety. But tomorrow we've got to go to town. I need to pick up two things that I've ordered from different shops. I need to do a little bit of shopping because I've got a couple of birthday presents I need to get soon. And yeah, just a little bit of shopping around and stuff. We might go out for dinner. I think we might be meeting up with one of my husband's friends for like a coffee and just to catch up. So be quite interesting and yeah so all in all I've not had a moment today at all so this is kind of where we are right now it's half past nine at night and I'm just going to quickly show you a little sneak peek into what my photography pictures are kind of going to look like although you probably will have seen my blog post I mean my blog post hasn't even gone live for today yet and it's 20 past nine at night what are you doing Sarah you're completely slacking it's just not what is wrong with you um, but yes, so we'll get on that in a second. But yeah, let's show you what I'm working with at the minute. So I've gone back and forth with a lot of different options right now. Um, but this kind of seems to be my favourite with like the um, browns, the conkers and the pine cones. And again, a lot of these things are autumn themed. It's um, my project pan that I'm filming at the minute, uh, showing at the minute. I've done like an autumn themed one and I'm kind of really liking this. So, oh, I've got a decoration that I've not used. Hmm. I'll put that in in a minute, so yeah. But this is kind of what I'm working with, and hopefully you kind of like it. Let me know in the comments your sort of constructive feedback. I kind of don't have much of a flat lay going on at the moment, so this is kind of my 
best sort of setup. So I've moved on to the floor now just to show you kind of what I've had delivered today. The first one is my birch box. This says days like these and you know what? I opened the box and I was like, yeah, days like these, you know what I mean? I met my friend yesterday to go to the event that um, we went to and she was like, you look exhausted. And I was like, and then I saw somebody I knew on the way home today and they were like, you look like you need a good rest, you look exhausted. And I was like, do I actually look that bad? Like, is this a real thing? Do I just genuinely look like I might just fall asleep at any given moment? But probably I do because I feel that way. <laughs> so I've got my birch box. Um, this will go up Sunday. My birch box might, it will either have gone up Saturday, which is yesterday for you guys, um, or it will have gone up, it will go up on Tuesday, one of the two, but you know, and the second exciting thing that I've had delivered is my first advent calendar of the year. I did actually buy this one. This isn't like a PR one, not that anybody's sending me a PR one. I mean, if you want to, you can. But it's a beanies one, so it's coffee. It's a beanies coffee advent calendar. And inside you get, um, so you, on, the, on day one you get a travel cup. And then on each day following that, you get two sachets of coffee. Their coffees, um, you can get little sachets or you can get um, jars of coffee. On each day after, for, say from day two to 23, you get two sachets of coffee in different assorted flavours. Really, really excited by this. Love the idea of it. And then on day 24, you get an actual jar of coffee. So I have obviously left the plastic cellophane on at the moment. I don't know what my beanies coffee cup looks like. I mean, it just looks like a black double walled sort of, um, this one right here next to my face. It looks like that. Um, I don't know why we were so zoomed in then. It looks like that. So I don't know if it will be like that or if it'll have any sort of any other design on it or anything like that. So I'm really excited for that because travel mugs are always really useful. And I know a lot of places now like Costa and Starbucks and stuff are starting to charge if you have their takeaway paper cups I'm really really weird and I I have this weird thing like I don't drink drinks very fast so I tend to always get my drinks in a takeaway cup because I like I it takes me ages to drink them because you know it just it just does um so I'm really excited to have another travel mug so that I can kind of carry one around with me and it's plastic which is better than some of the pot ones that I've seen because obviously I'm more likely to break that and it's a surprise um, flavoured coffee in day 24 that is a full jar so hopefully I like the jar of coffee that's in there because there's a couple of the flavours that while I and I can enjoy them maybe once or twice in a single use sachet I probably wouldn't want a jar of it however you know I'm hoping it's a Christmas flavoured one I'm hoping for from the ones on the box we've got um coconut vanilla cinder toffee amaretto caramelized hazelnut cookie dough Hazelnut, chocolate orange, cra caramel, double chocolate, popcorn, Irish cream, gingerbread, and mint chocolate. I'm hoping for something like, um, sort of like hazelnut, or maybe like the caramel, or some, something like that. Maybe the cinder toffee, or they did pump, they've obviously done pumpkin spice for Halloween and autumn, but maybe something Christmassy, gingerbread, maybe. Maybe it will be a Christmas one because it's a Christmas advent calendar. I don't know. It doesn't tell you and I am a little bit too impatient to wait but I'm definitely going to wait. So what I am going to do, every day on Vlogmas I will open my advent calendars. I've got a beauty one coming. Definitely one beauty one coming. I've got the Glossy Box one and I really want the Debenhams one. If anybody's seen anything else about the Debenhams one, I signed up to their mailing list to see when it comes live. If anyone's got any more information or if you've seen any sort of spoiler videos of it, I'd kind of like to see it because what I do is I go on them. So when I bought, got the Glossy Box one, I'd seen a spoiler video of it and I load the video up and I wait for it to all buffer, I pause it, wait for it all to buffer and then I just kind of go from the start, I'll click it like maybe like three minutes and I'll see whatever product they're unwrapping on, it might even be like day two or whatever, then I'll click to maybe like six minutes and then they might be unboxing day 12 or something like that and I'll kind of see about four or five products out of it and five out of 25 is only a fifth of the calendar so I kind of get a bit of a feel for it. If I really like those five products and I like the list of brands that they've kind of said, I will kind of write, okay, I'm happy with that, I'll get it. If I kind of click through and thought, Mm, I'm not really that bothered about these products. I will either click through and watch a few more or I will just go ahead and watch the whole thing just 
because I don't want to spend my money on something that I'm not that bothered about and I've ruled quite a few out this year by doing that. So I'm really excited about the Beanies one because coffee obviously is something that I'm going to use all the time. It gives me a cup of coffee every day, a flavoured cup and that would be really nice. So I'm going to head off and take some more pictures for my blog and yeah just kind of chill out. As I say we're doing a little bit more tomorrow and that'll be better so hopefully you'll have something better to watch tomorrow. <laughs> But thank you for sticking by me this week. It's been, I can honestly say, it's been one of those crazy, hectic, really ridiculous weeks. Hopefully next week will be a little bit more interesting. I'll be able to film something more than just me sat around my house. And I slowly, I'm hoping to build up my confidence to vlog more in public, which is what all these little clips are helping me to do. The more confident I feel vlogging at home and vlogging in my own setting, the more confident I'm going to start to feel outside the house vlogging. So... Thank you for sticking by me. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. This gives you a bit of an insight into my weekly, just basic weekly life when I'm at work. Um, but yes, thank you for sticking by me and I shall see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Saturday. So we are up and ready. It's half 11, so it's not super early, but we've had a chilled morning. Um, we're just off to run some sort of personal errands and things like that this morning. And I'm not really sure where the day is gonna take us today. I'm not really sure what the plan is. So we're off to do that and it's raining and I have not dressed for rain so first fail of the day it apparently is not bringing an umbrella and putting on a thin blazer but I have my Edward Scissorhands top on today because apparently it's October so we're channeling anything that's remotely Halloween themed or esque you know but yes it's raining it's not a very nice Saturday at all my heated seat on in the car that's probably the best thing about being in my husband's car, not mine. But yes, so we're gonna go and run a few errands and then I will catch up with you when we're doing something exciting that you guys might want to see. So we've just left town. I didn't vlog while we were in town because again, I've still got a little bit of public vlogging anxiety, so it's not quite happened yet, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up because, oh, by the way, we're in a multi-story car park. So while it's light now, we're about to go inside. So if it goes dark, then I'm sorry, it should auto adjust. Um, but I had a Debenhams parcel to pick up. I have a Yves Saint Laurent lipstick that I've bought and um, I'll show you the colour and stuff more um, in one of my other videos. Probably do it in like a beauty video or something or I'll show you when we get back. Oop, there we go, around the corner. Um, but it's just like a nude colour. I wanted something that's quite standard, quite natural, quite sort of everyday that I didn't have to worry about. I could just put on and it would suit. So I picked that up somewhere to put that and in with that they also gave me a free sample of a perfume so I've got that as well it's a Givenchy one which I'm excited to try I love a good perfume sample as much as the next person does you know they're always exciting to try and see what you've got and then I have also picked up my Zoe Sug Cordially Invited book because I pre-ordered this when she first announced that she was bringing it out well I say I did my husband pre-ordered it for me and it launched on Thursday and as you know I went to the event on Thursday so I didn't have a chance to pick it up and now my first opportunity to come and get it was today, Saturday. So I picked that up, I'm really really excited to read it, I'm going to have a quick flick through it while we're on our way home. So that's what I'm going to do, I shall catch up with you in a little bit, whoops speed bump, <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey guys so I just wanted to end my vlog, it is really late, it's 10 past 12 and it's currently now technically Sunday the 7th. I just took my glasses off because if you didn't already know it, I've got three screens on my computer and they were reflecting on my glasses really bad. Um, I kind of wanted to sign this off because I didn't sign it off very well earlier. We'd been shopping and I showed you what I'd picked up in town. I did get a couple of other bits, I got some a couple of other books but um, I'll show you those another time. I mainly went for the Zoella one because I'd actually physically ordered that in. However, the other book that I got was um, on sale, so I kind of picked that up, but it's something that's, I don't know, um, I'm just going to show it you another time. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to end this vlog. It's been a really strange weekly vlog, but I've honestly had such a mentally draining few weeks over the past sort of couple of months. I still have a lot going on from all the stuff that was happening over the summer, and just a few other bits going off in my life at the minute that aren't really anything in particular as such, like, you know what I mean, they're not something 
you guys really need to know about but I hope that this first weekly vlog hasn't been too boring. I'm slowly getting a little bit better at vlogging in public and really trying to push myself a little bit more now and hopefully over the next couple of weeks I'll be able to do some fun things. I kind of want to go um, pumpkin picking, I want to go out and take some more um, vlog pictures. I'm just moving some stuff because I've written down some ideas for things that I wanted to do over the next couple of weeks. Um, and I just think if we have a quick look together we can see what we might be getting up to. Um, well that's my to-do list so that's not it. It was in my notes section somewhere. Oh, I found my vlogmas one. Um, so I was thinking like pumpkin picking. Obviously there's bonfire night. We'll probably be doing something like that. Um, yeah, and then it's like Halloween. I don't think we're doing anything in particular for Halloween. But I'll um, show you whatever we decide to do. I want to do some more autumn shopping. I'm thinking about doing a like come shop with me on my main channel. So I might film some little clips and some like outtakes and stuff on here when I go. And... Yeah, just I want to have a few more days out and stuff like that. And yeah, I've been sat trying to blog for like the past two hours and I've not written anything. So I don't think that's going too well. I mean, it's, as I say, it's about ten past midnight, so I ought to be in bed. But yeah, I painted my nails the other day actually. They're purple. Um, I don't know if you can see very well, but um, yeah, basically, I have been sorting stuff out. I took some more vlog pictures. My husband was moaning at me earlier because when we were in the car, I was vlogging like this. I was like, you need to hold your camera up higher. I don't have a tripod on it, that's mainly the problem. Um, I forgot what to say. I took some more vlog pictures earlier, and I needed to get a load of pictures took for my Instagram and scheduled, and well, you know. I edit them all and then when it gets to the time I want to post them I can just post them. My hair looks crazy. I didn't get around to dyeing my hair tonight which was one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to film it for my main channel so that'll just have to wait won't it. Um, I probably won't get a chance tomorrow I've got too much on. But um, yeah tomorrow we'll probably go out for dinner. We might go out for Sunday dinner. I think my husband said he wanted to go to the pub but I don't know yet. I don't know what we'll do. And then um, in the afternoon on a Sunday, we always, always, always go and see my um, husband's grandparents. There's only the odd few weeks where we don't actually go and do that, but I would say nine times out of ten, we always go and see them um, on a Sunday afternoon. Um, so then by the time we get back on a Sunday evening, and we've had tea there, I just kind of go in the bath, make sure I've got something packed for work the next day, and head to bed. So... I want to import this week's weekly footage now and kind of put it all together so it's ready to edit in the morning and yeah I'm just going to kind of go to bed because I'm just sat here. Do you know when you sit there and you're just thinking over everything and you just make it ten times worse? That's kind of what I'm doing right now. But yeah I think at some point I'll probably just have a bit of a chat with you and a bit of catch up with what's going on but I just be very careful what I say on the internet at the moment because I think a lot of what I could say and a lot of what I perhaps want to say could could potentially get me in some sticky situations is the most I'm going to say about this. It's nothing, I've not done anything wrong, I'm not doing anything wrong, um, but I just, I just don't want, I don't want to say something and it get mixed around and get twisted and get back to somebody, like do you know what I mean, I, I just don't want anything I say to kind of reflect against me. But I'll probably talk about that at some point. And yeah, basically a lot of people in my personal life don't even know what's going on. So just just know that I've got some things going on that I'm trying to mull over in my head. And I don't really know what direction I want to take things in. But yeah, I am going to go to bed. I hope you've somewhat enjoyed this weekly vlog. It's definitely been a little bit longer than I expected it to be. And hopefully next week will be a little bit better. Um, we do want to go pumpkin picking, which will be really nice. Um, let's have a look where we are. That's September. So next week, the, so we're like into the second week of autumn. And do I have um, anything planned? I don't have anything planned actually for the rest of the month in, set in stone. So what I might do tomorrow is I might take my planner with me if we go out for dinner or something and just kind of add in a few things and try and work out some days to go out. It'll have to obviously be the weekends mainly because 
I'm at work. But, um, and my husband is too, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find some things to schedule in. Ooh. So yeah, as you can tell, pretty tired. So I'm gonna head off to bed and I shall see you all next week for my weekly vlog. Bye.